year what it do youtube it's your boy eli the rebel welcome to episode two week two of the ndl loan army series is here um if you missed the last episode please click the i card on the top right of the corner um i give the full explanation of how uh, the loan system works the loan army how the loan army is uh built think all that you know, we're not going to explain that this episode. Please click the first episode so you can fully understand what is happening here. Uh, today is going to be a lot simpler episode. It's just going to be uh, me breaking down what happened week one, and then we just and then we just go right into the into the loans, and then we just go right into the loans. So if y'all are hyped to see uh, ten more mods next week uh, for week three, go ahead and. Give me, give your boy ten likes real quick. Uh, comment down below what what mon is uh some which one of these mons do you want to pick up for yourself if you were in NDL and uh you know you could also comment you know a little you know something that needs to be you know loaned out you know I might do it I might not depending on my mood we'll see we'll see we'll see but let's go into the week one highlights three two one week one highlights so last video. We had our first uh, batch of loans. Uh, we had our first uh, army set, and only two loans were uh, were uh, used. <clears throat> so the first one, um, tier three beware went to tier four. Got picked up by the Hawaiian bewares uh, mascot pick. Um, it's looking. Sources are telling me that it's a seventy percent chance. It's like a 70 30 um you know it's likely that they're gonna lock this loan permanently they just haven't um they're they're battling later um in the in the day they're they're battling later on <clears throat> but it looking like it's looking like t4 tier 4 beware is gonna be a permanent but drapion trap with the strap you feel me that got locked up into tier 3 real real quick um same day same day so um we'll go over we'll go over why that is so big for the gregory grottles to pick up um the game of the week um was obviously our game the bear the bahamian bear scooter game versus the dallas don fans uh it was the birth of sixth valley as uh my partner would call it um you know so you, as you can see on the screen, when you let when you let Silk Valley get get that SD and that flame charge up, <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. So yeah, the birth of Six Valley was born uh, this week. Um, it's currently kill leader right now. Um, it will be, it'll most likely be kill leader. Like even if you know, there's supposed to be two battles slated um, at the time of recording this that are. But even then, like, so Six Valley is still gonna hold it down as the number one kill leader, um, even after those two battles, most likely. Uh, however, you know, for other teams, such as the Macabre Minions, they they down bad. They down bad. They uh, they're 0 and 2 right now. Um, they lost their first. They they played two games uh week one, so they had um the first ever NDL co-op game. They the Macabre was lost to the Las Vegas Lapras, and then on Friday, on Friday they lost to the Zolt Strikers. So they're already down 0-2. Um, obviously the uh, you know the Lunatone division is a very tough division to get out of. So uh, you know we'll see if they'll if they'll come back from it. Um, if one of the coaches <coughs> of the Macabre Minions is is watching, listen up. Like there are some good loans for you guys please use this loan system it will it, it, it might save y'all season it might save y'all season and speaking of season <clears throat> we don't we don't even know if the crescent brute tropius is playing we they haven't even made a scheduling attempt uh in week one at all um i mean one of their coaches has been active in chat as you can say um the reaction to their activity in chat isn't isn't very nice but you know they they need to get some battles done uh soon they need to start scheduling soon um but well that, that's all the bad stuff out the way let, let, let's go into some let, let's let's deeply analyze why i think 
strap with the strap fits the Gregory Grotto theme. So as you can see here, um, you know, they loaned out um, Vileplume. So they took Vileplume out to loan Tier 3 Drapion. It did not come to the game, to the Week 1 game, but it was on the roster for that one week. Um, it didn't come to the Week 1 game. They still won over the Dutch Colt, right? So, but now they made that permanent. And that allowed them to get uh, Armaldo. They, their current dark type at the time was uh, Persian Alola. It got dropped for Armaldo. And Armaldo provides, uh, you know, secondary rapid spinning. So one of the major things about, um, you know, building around Mega Charizard Y is having enough hazard control. You have hazard removal in Serena, Noivern, and now Armaldo. And then now you have hazard stacking options in Palisand, Bronzong, and now you have now you have Drapion for the T spikes. Okay, so I really like I really like Drap. I really like Drap with the strap on this team. Um, it it lacked the team lacked a poison type, a grounded poison type for that matter, um, to cancel out you know op opposing T spikes. Um. <clears throat> so, yeah, Dra Drapion provides so much utility to the Gregory Grottles, and this is a th again, this is this is what the loan list is all about. Trying to find some value in Mon, and then you know, if you really like them, lock them in permanently. And this move right here is exactly my point. So, without further ado, let, let, let's go into the tier two loans coming coming over from tier one, shall we? Let, let, let's go, let's go, let's go. So. <clears throat> you got two electric types here and you got a psychic and you got a psychic cat thingy okay Let, let's talk about the psychic cat thingy for a second okay regular alakazam this generation um got nasty plot so initially it was in tier one simply because of of you know being able to set up straight up um you know no longer do you need to be calm mind and not you know get the and not get the kill that you need um, nasty plot, psychic, psych, shock, and a, and a coverage move of your choice is uh, on paper. is It is fantastic. It's fantastic. Again, Alakazam is. I love my mons that are over 110 speed because you know it's very hard to find that speed tier. Uh, you know, finding mons faster than 110 is is somewhat of a challenge sometimes, and Alakazam does that. Um, combined with the 135 special attack. This thing is a glass cannon, you know, 55 HP. Um, you just, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna break with this thing. You can clean up with this thing. Um, it don't matter. Uh, Magic Guard, one of the best abilities um, in the in the game right now. In the game right now, you can you can run Sash Nasty Plot, sit on the sit on whatever hazards, and like Alakazam just takes it no problem. The Sash will still be intact, in fact. Um, and you would think that with all those great things, Alakazam would be picked up at tier one, but unfortunately, it's, it, it wasn't the case. It wasn't the case, and and we're just gonna put it in the spotlight for tier two. Next, we have Thunderous uh, Incarnate. So Thunderous Therian got picked up at tier one, but not Thunderous Eye. Um, not I mean. It's debatable whether, you know, which one is better. It really depends on what you're trying to run. Um, with Thunder Asterion, it's, uh, you know, it's an electric uh, flying type with, you know, Volt Absorb um, as its main ability. But, you know, Thunderous Eye ha actually has a couple of, you know, valid abilities in Defiant and Prankster. So Defiant is, you know, your Intimidate Stopper. Uh, uh, your defog stopper, right? Because when stats drop, um, the attack goes up a couple stages. And with 115 attack, that's very, very nice. That's very, very nice. Um, it'd be really great to get this thing at plus two. I'm gonna be honest. Um, and then the other ability, as I mentioned before, is Prankster. Um, giving, you know, thun the eye plus one to all priority to all status moves things uh, things like nasty plot um, things like Things like Thunder Wave 
toxic. You know what I mean? Um, so it has the, uh, so the thing with Thunderous Eye is that it has, you know, both the, if you, you look at the spread here, it has both the, ca the capability of, you know, either being, you know, being prankster, you know, T-Wave support and things like that and be annoying, or it could just be an offensive powerhouse with, with, uh, defiant sets and things like that. But for the most part, um, a common set for this thing would be, you know, Nasty Plot, uh, three attacks. Your Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt, uh, Sludge Wave, Sludge Wave for the Grass types that want to resist, and then, uh, throw in a Psychic, cause, throw in Psychic, cause why not? Um, thun Thunderous Eye, uh, definitely needs, needs some love. Um, I think at tier 2, this would be absolutely prime value for a Pokemon with this kind of stat distribution, move pull, and and two very solid abilities. Um, this is a really great loan for, for some people. Um, and then we'll go on to the other electric type um, that's going to be loaned out this week is Big Zerk. Yes, Big Tree. Big Zerk Tree. Um, I classify this, in my opinion, as a better Regieleki. Why? Because... It's not limited to just electric and normal type moves. Um, Zerkatry gets things like Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam, right? Along with, you know, your very strong uh, elect electric moves such as Thunderbolt and Volt Switch. Um, you just slap a scarf on once you get the kill. Um, you know, your special attack goes up plus one, and then things just start snowballing, right? So, I, in my opinion, this is a better uh, Reggie uh, Alecki. Um, again, again, this this is going to go to tier two in the same tier as Reggie Alecki. So, who knows? Maybe I move Reggie Alecki uh, down to tier three one of these days. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But I think Big Zerk at tier two, the same with Thunder is I. With, you see the giant special attack stat with a decent speed enough to be a scarfer to be a great scarf option you have to try this thing at tier two at least if you don't want to pick it up tier one if you don't want to pick it up tier tier one at least try these guys out at tier two i'm trust me trust me trust me on this one okay all right but now we're gonna look at tier three loans that are gonna be coming over from tier two we got we got three we got three here so the first one you'll never see this tier three but so this is like an experimental thing um because here's the thing with Mimikyu, right so gen it, it was introduced in gen 7 um disguise was introduced as gen 7 and disguise made it so you could absorb uh you could absorb the hit and then the disguise breaks and then if you hold focus sash you can go to plus uh three you can go to plus three with plus not plus three plus four with Mimikyu excuse me I'm, I'm thinking of 3x attack on xd so you can as oh, with focus sash sets in gen 7 were common because you could sd twice um and then shadow sneak and then shadow sneak and then um after that um if you had like a bulkier dark type to uh absorb the hit you could just drain punch all that health back from uh, sash now they nerfed it in generation 8 where you could where you take 12 percent after the hit as opposed to just no no health at all so focus assets aren't uh a thing anymore unfortunately and with 90 attack it's not there's the shadow claws aren't the hardest yeah i know a ghost type without poltergeist is kind of lame but you know what it is what it is right however 105 spdf 96 speed 80 defense you throw you throw some you know 55 hp you know eh. mimikyu can run can still run you know is a great banded option a great life orb option um you can even run um what was I gonna say? You 105 Spadef is really good. So if you slap an AV on, 
um you can just start clicking buttons and things like that and poke holes through your team um the, again the, with the out it's it's one it's the alakazam situation all over again you you can you, this thing can break holes this thing can clean up it don't matter you're gonna find a way um so yeah Mim mimikyu um mimikyu for tier three you'll never see that i don't know there, i haven't seen a league that that moves it down to tier three but you know we gonna we gonna see if it's uh, broken or not we, we gonna see we gonna see um the next pokemon is uh, a familiar face in tier three back in uh ndl season two and it's going back to tier three this time and during the co-op era it's nido queen um nido queen is just a bulkier nido king and the problem with nido queen is that you're not going there are some calcs that you can run where nido king picks up the kill whereas nido queen does not um again life orb sheer force is still a fantastic ability but with but with the uh with nido queen being bulkier you actually want to run black sludge most of the time um but again the utility the utility is still there just like with nido king it's a solid it's a solid rocker a solid t spiker um gets all the coverage just like nido king it just doesn't hit as hard um so it's been you know it's been chilling in, C in tier 2 with nido king and nido king has been the one that's been picked up not nido queen so that's why we moved it down here to tier 3 um you can see the stat distribution right here um 76 speed um you know you could make it fast with the scarf but again since it's bulkier you want to throw max hp on speed creep speed creep uh, a clefable or something and then you know throw the rest in hp special attack or even run a physical set with sucker punch you know <clears throat> do what you gotta do you know what i mean um tier three uh nido queen per we we've seen it before so we'll see if somebody will pick it up again okay and then the last uh tier three loan is actually a, a pokemon that's always been in tier two for two seasons now and hasn't been picked up once and it baffles my mind why i mean i could understand why it has zarud's never been picked up but i still think that a mon that doesn't get knockoff a dark type to be more specific a dark type that doesn't get knockoff sucks i understand that right knockoff is one of the most spammable moves in the game and zaru doesn't get that i get that they'll f i guarantee you you know they'll probably fix that in the in the move tutor for the gen 4 remake move tutor i guarantee you they'll give zaru knockoff then but for now Dark, your strongest move is probably going to be Darkest Lariat, right? Um, power Whip has really good power in base 120, but it can miss with 85 accuracy. Um, you know, you have Seed Bomb. You have Seed Bomb if you want to be, if you want to guarantee damage, things like that. It does not, it has the Rillaboom problem where it doesn't get rock type. Uh, it doesn't get rock moves for coverage, but it does get uh, fighting moves fighting moves i don't think it even gets uh ground moves like yeah it's a it's a jungle cat it shouldn't um it, it shouldn't get high horsepower it's a jungle cat for god's sakes but yeah uh zarud zarud's um uh, so at first we thought like you know with leaf guard like what what are you doing with leaf guard right terrible ability that's another reason on top of the knockoff thing right um but jungle healing is actually a pretty decent move it's not as you know bigger recovery it's not like recover or roost good in terms of the recovery moves you only get like a third back um from or a quarter back from health from jungle healing but you remove the status so you can't really be toxic stalled the 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 scald burn the willow is burn or the or the yellow magic paralysis it doesn't affect zarud if it's running the jungle healing set so uh bulk of jungle healing is really really good on this thing um with 105 speed it can outpace a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff um again 105 hp 105 speed 105 defense 120 attack this is the, this is a bulk up sweeper 
this is a bulk up sweeper for sure. You 95 speed up, you can th throw an AV on and and break. Um, again, this Rude is actually a fantastic uh, mon under the right on the right team under the right circumstances. And you know, if you have a great U-turn stopper, again, because you know Zerud being quad weak to bug. U-turn is probably one of the most common moves buttons to click in the game right now. Um, if you have a U-turn stopper, Zerud actually kind of goes crazy. So for tier three, this is this is un this is probably the best one out of the list in my opinion. And those are the many reasons why Zerud is might be the best tier three loan out of all of these. It might be the best tier three loan we I'll probably put out. In, in my opinion you you look like everything look at all the stats they're all like yellowish greenish okay like this thing this thing is a mythical and should be respected as such um let, let's go to tier four let's go to tier four man tier four we got some of my favorites um in here so if y'all have been following my pdl uh runs uh i i love tier four hariyama Tier Hariyama has three very very solid uh, abilities: guts, sheer force, thick fat. Um, sheer force is the hidden ability, whereas guts and the thick fat are the two primary ones. Um, yeah, th it's not the fastest thing in the world, right? But with 144 HP and 120 attack, um, you know. You could throw an assault vest on and start and start living stuff and start breaking and start poking holes. Um, bandit is going to hit a bulky band is going to hit like a truck. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, well, I can talk about all three abilities right now. Sure. I want. Who, did you ask that? Did you ask that viewer? Oh, I heard a voice somewhere. Anyway, guts um punishes uh status spreading so if this thing is status that's 1.5 times the you know it's giving you're giving hariyama free choice band power um if it's status um whether it's toxic burn uh frozen not frozen uh paralysis things like that um those three statuses mainly um sheer force like we talked about with nido queen um you know um, secondary effects are removed, but you get the 1.3x uh, uh, power. And uh, if you slap a life orb on, you don't take the life orb recoil from the move that is sheer force boosted. And lastly, the ability that I probably used the most on this was thick fat. So thick fat um, has the it makes it makes fire and ice become you know an added resistance for Hariyama, so Hariyama can 1v1, you know, you know, pesky, you know, ice types and things like that, pesky, uh, fire types, you know, offensive fire and ice, it's, it's honestly super, super thick, super, super strong, um, gosh, I sound like that, I sound like that, uh, that new Pampers commercial, super, super thick, super, super all right, we'll we'll, we'll 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 just go on to the to the other tier four loan uh, for this week. Um, Raichu Alola one is hitting the one ten speed exactly. Um, ninety five special attack and eighty five uh physical. You could run mixed. You could run mixed. Yeah. Um, under the right circumstances, right? If you have web support, um. If you have web support this thing can start you can put modest on this thing and start and start going to town uh gets nasty plot always had nasty plot um it's not like alakazam where it just got nasty plot like it, 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 it this thing has nasty plot for two generations now um you have a couple of momentum options in volt switch and teleport so the utility is still there um the coverage on this thing outside of hidden power you know you, like like yeah we have the hidden power rule but like this thing without it, this thing is still has still great coverage outside of hidden power because remember hidden power is only 60 base power okay so sometimes you might need that little oomph and uh you know Raichu you 
know, has the has the grass knot and and the focus blast, you know, all those wonderful things uh, going for itself. Again, nasty plot agility, double dance sets could be really fun to to do. But if you're under the, this, is the main selling point right here, Raichu Alola is really good in two terrains in particular. The first one being Psychic Terrain, actually. So in Psychic Terrain, um, priority is is nullified. Like you cannot you cannot click a priority move um, in Psychic Terrain. And so what that means for Raichu Alola is you know one you you are safe from things like uh sucker punch and in this league in particular pursuit pursuit is legal so in psychic terrain you're not only you know safe from being pursuit trapped and you know sucker punched on but and then the second reason being this thing gets expanding force so so you know you are you have stab expanding force hitting hitting you know hitting pretty much everything that isn't you know a dark a dark psychic or steel it's gonna hit it's gonna hit uh but the main and the other the other of not the not the other really the other terrain that it's in that it that it's so good in is electric terrain of course um because surge surfer which is the ability doubles right to speed in the electric terrain so no need to worry about running double dance on on Raichu Alola in Electric Terrain. You can just straight up nasty plot and uh, start clicking buttons. Start clicking buttons that way. Um, right, Raichu Alola definitely needs uh, more love for sure. Um, this thing is very hard to switch into under the, like I said, in Web's teams, it's great. Psychic Terrain teams, it's great. And electric terrain is the main selling point when most people think about Raichu Alola. So these three going, to, these tier threes going to tier four, great, great value in my opinion. And finally, we're gonna go to the tier five loans. So first off is Flapple. Now Flapple here is pretty, you know, for a dragon type, this might be one of the most underwhelming dragons um, of all time, unfortunately. But I think, you know, because with Appleton, it's also going to have, you know, Gluttony and Ripen, right? Which are both berry-based abilities. Um, but then the selling point for this one is Hustle. Now, Hustle, you know, makes this mod hit like a truck with 110 attack. However, it has, you know, the accuracy um, goes down a little bit. So, you know, your, your Grav Apples right are 100 percent accurate with hustle they're now 80 percent accurate so you could you could d dance into sucker punch all you want you just better pray to god that you know he lands and then if you take off you know the life orb for for wide lens you know you can't you, you know you're losing out power in that aspect um so that, that's why flapple's going down to tier five this week um, you know, unfortunately, it's not, it, 110 attack just isn't enough for it to be relevant in tier 4 right now. Um, again, uh, 70 speed, pretty mid after plus 1. Um, certain Scarfers can out, certain Scarfers can outpace that. Um, I believe, I believe Regioleki can outspeed at, after 2 Dragon Dances, that's how slow this thing is. Um, but that's another topic for another day. Um... And that's why Flap was going to tier five. I think in tier five, it, it, you know, it could it could it could play some games. It could provide some use. Who knows? Um, and then the last one on the on the loan list for this week is going to be Rotom Frost. Um, Rotom, all the Rotom forms are you know have their unique uh, nuances and things like of that nature. I mean, they all share you know the defog, the pain split, the the willow is the T wave, the hex, right? The dark pulse, right? It is what, right? You have all the Rotom forms sharing though those moves, right? The problem with Rotom Frost is that it's it's sign not its signature move. It's Rotom exclusive move being Blizzard, right? Blizzard only Blizzard only 
you know, 100% accurate in hail. It's a 110 base powered ice move with a 70% ch chance to land. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, it's also, you know, being an ice type, it, 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 you know, it's it's gonna suffer from hazard damage if it's not holding heavy duty boots. Um, but again, 10, 107 def fizz def and spadef. Um, you max out the HP. You know, it can be pretty bulky. 86 speed, it's all right. You can throw a scarf on, but again. You're facing the problem of do I be scarfed to outpace certain things, or do I have to be boots and not take because I'm so concerned about ha about hazards. You know what I mean? Um, levitate is good so that you can nullify. You don't take spikes damage at least, um, and you're you know you're immune to one of your uh, you're immune to you know earthquake and earth power, which is one of Roto's many weaknesses. Um, again, bolt B coverage is one of the you know, literally hits everything in the entire game. And it's stabbed too. But, you know, Blizzard isn't the most accurate move. I think Tier 5, you know, it could have a chance to shine in Tier 5. And this is the complete loan list for you guys. So, thank y'all for watching. Um, Again, 10 likes. I'll do 10 more mods for Week 3. Um, And yeah, comment down below which one of these mods would you want to pick up for yourself. And... As always, it's been your boy, Light the Rebel. I'll catch you guys later. Deuces!